Let's focus on the Netcare Group, which has businesses in South Africa and the United Kingdom. And apart from hospitals, it also owns Netcare 911 and Medicross. Exactly, those are assets here. Remember, it also owns the General Health Care Group in the United Kingdom. When it bought that business about a decade ago, it also picked up all of the buildings and all of the facilities in the UK. It looked for a while as though it was going to offload those but it's elected to retain them because of dynamics in the market at the time. That has been quite an interesting issue for CEO Richard Friedland over the times, but it has now been reorganized so that it's off balance sheet, which gives you a clearer look at the net care business, which I must say has done extremely well. Market cap here, we're sitting at 61.8 billion rand, a PE of 26.4 dividend yield of almost 2%. Richard's been at the helm of this yep. company for a long time. Yes, so imagine it was founded by and the initial CEOs, people like Marty Sachs, then there was Jackie Chevel, but Richard has been at the helm at least a decade, I would guess. He came to the job very young, very talented and hardworking executive, and generally a very good team located here, head office in Santon. Fabulous facilities in this country, so as good as the MediClinics, I think all the net care facilities, people are familiar with them. All the best specialists, fantastic world-class facilities, in the major centers and cities. Where do the African leaders come when they uh, are ill? You know, they jump in their presidential jets, they fly into South Africa in order to be treated. So you've got world-class Look positions. at that share price graph. You can't That's argue with that either. That's a world-class share price too. You know, what I think happens there in 2014 is the initial resolution of the crisis with regard to the funding of the GHG business in the UK. Because remember, what happened there was that they bought, as I said, those buildings, and the buildings had mortgages, and the buildings were worth less than the outstanding value of the mortgage. So it's the, one of those classic cases where they're underwater, so to speak. And at some point, it looked as though what the Netcare Group might say to the banks is, well, you know, you can have the buildings. But then they came to some terms to support and kick it and kick the can down the road. And now the market for this kind of asset is much more attractive. So the commercial mortgage market in the UK has resuscitated. And so that looks like uh, no problem. If anything, it's a bit of an opportunity. Again, let's look at the risks to the downside here. Does it differ to MediClinic? Not particularly. Remember a couple of years ago, there was a bit of a spat in the media about uh, surgical safaris where there were some questions being asked about uh, people that were donating organs and there was a Brazilian connection. No uh, liability was found. There were some uh, practices which were reviewed and so on. That seems largely to have dissipated, which is good because that sort of thing, you know, one does want to be quite careful about that. So I think they're much tighter now with regard to people coming here for elective surgeries than they may have been in the past. What is the key difference between a net care and a MediClinic in your opinion? I guess slightly different market of operation. So it's quite similar insofar as net care also has the big UK thing. Let's talk about the UK business itself. Let's do that. So the United Kingdom is a big economy, 60 million people. The national health care service is like a big issue for British people because it is the centerpiece of the Labour government's creation. Since there's been a Conservative government at the helm for the last period, it's been quite controversial whether it's getting better or getting worse. Brits like to complain about queues, waiting lists and service levels within the National Health Service. On the main, they sort of bumble along. The kind of people who go to the kind of facilities that Netcare owns there are the really rich people who don't want to wait for the NHS queue in order to have their liver replacement or their hip replacement. So we've or got the same strategy that we were looking at on the, the MediClinic side in that you aiming for that elite that can f afford but uh, I would say on balance, premium health exactly, services. And, and you're right, we've got the same thing in the UK with regard to private health care insurance. So you know that Discovery is buying out the minorities in Prudential Health and we're going to rebrand it Vitality. And it's exactly those people that they sell those products to that are the ones That'll that go to these to kinds Medicare of hospitals. Medicare and Medicare. But it's a slightly smaller market. GHG also does a bit of what they call overflow work for the NHS. So if the NHS, for one reason or another, is having too many uh, operations of a particular kind, like uh, knee replacements, then they will actually shop around and get those done for them on contract at these other facilities. But I would say slightly 
Switzerland is a better market, and smaller UAE market, as well. Don't because discount. it's a bigger, more premium market, more people with more money and more people privately funded without the kind of overhang of the state sector to deal with as you have in the United Kingdom. And, and as I said, you've got the UAE. As far as South Africa is concerned, I think MediClinic and Netcare are very much on a par. They're very strong competitors. They have the same battles with the medical aids around what's allowed to be paid. They have as good uh, you know, specialists operating in their respective facilities. Let's call it hot or not on Netcare. Look, for me, Netcare is hot as well. Uh, I like the management team, like the sector in which it operates, like the international assets, like the fact that they navigated through the drama with the funding and so on and so forth. You, did, you did give Medicare a very hot. This one is just hot. No, I think this one is very hot as well.